Welcome back to Newsmakers. I'm Jess Toddfeld. Kay Francis is my guest today. She has a brand new book, Drive or Be Driven, Knowing What Makes You Tick and Why You Should Care About It. Kay, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Jess. One of the things I loved about you and why we wanted to have you on is you talk about clarity. We all need clarity in our lives. How can you help us be on that path towards clarity? Well, clarity is a hidden epidemic. Uh -huh. it costs a lot. I'm unclear on the epidemic, so explain. Okay. I need clarity. Well, it happens all the time yeah. to everybody. It's all over the place, but we don't really give it enough importance. So what I do is teach people about the importance of clarity, inform them about the very real costs of not being clear, including financial costs, and teach them how to get clear. Wow. And now you are a marital and family therapist, but you have since kind of become a clarity expert. How does one become a clarity expert? Explain that. Well, it's something that's always been an issue for me since I've been a very little girl. Uh -huh. There was something about the experience of confusion that I really hated mm. and found it very painful Yes, and was aware that it didn't have to be that way. And I guess I was born with some innate language skills yeah. and talents about reducing information to its essence and making it really simple and easy to understand. Um, and then I have my concerns yeah. about various issues like education. Yes. And so that all came together. Now, you, so you've taken your spotlight and you have put it on education as one area that certainly needs clarity. Mm -hmm. And tell us what you've figured out, what you found along the way. Well, I had to go on a very long personal journey. Mm -hmm. And what I discovered was that there were some fundamental dynamics that were true for all of us. I mean, yes, we have the specifics that relate to our individual lives. Yeah. But we all pretty much function in the same way. Mm -hmm. And I remember the exact moment when I said to myself, they really ought to be teaching this stuff in school. Yes. Because Which stuff? About knowing what makes us function, yeah. what drives our thoughts, feelings, and actions so that we have more uh, control out of, over them. We're not victims yeah. of those forces that we're not aware of. Right. And also issues of language. Language is so fundamental. Just about everything we do in life is a matter of language. And yet we aren't taught anything about that in school. Right. And there's many different aspects of language. And if, if you become knowledgeable about that, you've really got a leg up. Right. So here you have your background as, the, as a family therapist. And you're thinking, they're missing a whole complete section that should be in schools. In fact, oh. you're advocating a whole curriculum redesign. Am I right? Exactly. And what would that look like? Well, that would be based on this concept of critical knowing. Yeah. And what critical knowing is relates to any kind of information that, if it's missing, it has a huge negative impact mm. on people's lives. Right. So that it's critical to have certain knowledges and skills that there is fundamental to our ability to build satisfying lives for ourselves as the traditional ABCs and three R's. Right. Now, some people who are at the Department of Education may mm -hmm. hear what you're saying and they may say, it sounds like a nice lecture once a year, maybe once a year, but you're thinking this is a, a bigger, sprawling project. Could it even come together? Oh, well, it's a huge project. Yeah. And as far as being just one lecture, yeah. I mean, if you just go through the table of contents of my book, you'll see the breadth of subjects. And when you start working with those subjects experientially, yes. not just intellectually, right. um, and practicing and discussing, then you have a lot of meat there to right. work with. So one nugget that people who are watching right now, probably parents of children who are in the school system, could use, and of course they need to take control themselves since everything that we need to be taught in schools aren't being taught. Is there a nugget you can give to our audience now? Yes, something that I call the 90-10% rule of oh. anger and other intense emotions. I like the sound of it. Tell us what that is. It's what's really happening when we're experiencing intense emotions is 
that we're acting like a superpower, whatever happened, whatever we're responding to, causes us to act like a super powerful magnet that collects all past experiences yeah. that were similar. And so our reactions are a result of that compilation, yeah. right? So what 90-10 means is that only about 10% of the intensity is relating to what's really going on in the present. Mm. And the other 90% has to do with the past. And if you don't separate those, if you react as if what you're feeling is true yeah. and accurate, that's how we make a lot of trouble for ourselves. Wow. So is it's really important to take the time to, to know that and to separate and is figure out what's really going on. Right. Oh, now, is this something covered in the brand new book, which is called Drive or Be Driven, Knowing What Makes You Tick and Why You Should Care About It? Absolutely. It is. Yes. Okay. A anything else? So that's helpful. So mm -hmm. we can really see more and find out. Not only do we need to know how we tick, but we need to know why we should care. Right. And, and I guess it really comes down to us being better people. Why should we care? Well, you suffer less. Yes. You have oh, less that sounds conflict, good. Conflict. Yes. Better relationships. Uh huh. More successful, effective. Okay. And you don't damage other people as wow. much as we tend to do. So, as a marital and family therapist, you are now helping people on a large scale mm -hmm. through your book, through speaking, and being able to get to more and more people. Right. And I think people appreciate that. Last little point I want to ask you about the education project. Just tell us the last little important tidbit of what's happening. Okay, well, I've established a national brainstorming to develop a new curriculum for our public schools. Yeah. Because it's really the end users that know what they need and want and also know what didn't work for them ah. when they were in school. And I am inviting, encouraging everybody out there to contribute. Go to my website, www.yourclarityexpert.com, ah. and make your ideas known. Yes. And I think this is a way to um, make the issue loud enough and have a loud enough voice to actually be able to achieve something. We can all be part of the solution. Absolutely. And contribute. Yep. Kate Francis, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Thank you, Jess.